Welcome to another blast of eye-opening message. Join in as we explore together. Everything that left you that should not have left by the power of prophecy in the name of Jesus, I call it back. Shout a loud amen as I begin to pray for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I decree and declare every devil of infirmity in your body, around your life, I command it to give way right now. Be free right now in the name of Jesus. Be free right now in the name of Jesus. Every sickness, I decree and declare, be healed now. Eye conditions, be healed now. Deaf ears, I command, be open now. Bone conditions, I declare, be healed now. Help them, please. You don't have to bring them out again. Don't worry. You don't have to bring those under the anointing again. That's fine. Just, just manage them where you are. There's someone you could not hear with your, de- your left ear. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every blood condition here represented... I declare be cleansed right now. The Lord is showing me at least four ladies. For two of them, you have, I don't know if it's been medically verified, but you have multiple lumps, your left breast, multiple lumps. I'm seeing the power of God touch you. I declare that that devil leaves right now. Now, that devil leaves now. Help her please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Peptic ulcer, be healed in the name of Jesus. Peptic ulcer, again I say, be healed in Jesus' name. There's someone you have suffered from pile, pile, very painful pile. The power of God is touching you right now. I don't know, but the Lord is showing me a woman who is a sister to someone who is here. Seven years, she's not had a child. Seven years. This is what I see in my vision. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare, let this be the season of fruitfulness for her. Please help her. Let this be the season of... Help them, please, my God. Look what God is doing there. There's someone who is having... I don't know if he's had palpitations... But I know that it's a cardiovascular disease. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, be healed now. God is showing me one, a gentleman. I don't know if it's that you lost your sense of smell or you cannot smell at all completely. In the name of Jesus, let it be restored now. Let it be restored now. You are having sleep abnormalities. You go to lie down and you barely sleep for 30 minutes and that's it. You are not able to sleep again. The Bible says, but he giveth his beloved sleep. I decree and declare that whatever medical issue that is, it comes to an end right now. Every bone problem, I command be healed now. Every problem with your joints, I command, be healed now. In the name of Jesus. HIV, be healed now. Negative genotypes, change now. There's someone you have a problem swallowing. 
I don't know what problem you have with your throat. It's, it looks like, you know how you swallow food and it doesn't go completely. It's been like that for a long time. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone, you are a bit elderly, maybe in your 50s or thereabouts. You don't seem to be able to stand in the sun for a long time. The moment you stand for a short time, you start having, it's like breathlessness and tiredness, like a nauseating feeling. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare unto you, the power of God is bringing you healing right now. And for some, you may not be sick in terms of bodily problems, but there may be serious problems around your finances, around your family. Let me prophesy upon you. He said, I prophesied I was com as I was commanded and there was a sound. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to receive this prophetic word. Look and leave, my brother, leave. Look to Jesus Christ and leave. Is recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It is only that you look and leave. Every closed door over your life and destiny. In the name of Jesus. Believe it. I speak to that door. Be open now. Help them please. Help them please. Be open now. And Fata, be open now. Embargo of shame and reproach that the devil has placed as a garment over you. I tear that garment off right now. I tear that garment of shame and reproach in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, Master, we have toiled all night. There are many of you who have labored and toiled without profit. A grace is about to come on you. I decree and declare, go forth and start excelling. I pray for those who are students. Eli who said in chapter 32 and verse 8 of Job that there is a spirit in man. He says, and the breath, the inspiration of the Almighty is able to make men of understanding. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I pray over your mind and your intelligence. Step into a dimension of God-like intelligence. Retentive capacity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. For everyone who made it for this crusade tonight. I prophesy to you. From January till December. I command laughter. I command laughter. The sound of sadness and mourning. Will be far from your habitation. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm still praying over your life that when men say there is a casting down, ask for you and for your loved ones. Let your testimony be that there is a lifting up. It says your gates shall be continually open. They will not be shut day and night so that you will receive the forces of the Gentiles. Hear me. Everyone who has been mandated by God to hold your hand as a destiny helper this year, I speak to the north, to the south, the east, and the west. I call them to gravitate towards your life. Hallelujah. Let me speak to someone as I prepare to wrap up who has gone through negative seasons and it looks like your service to God has not brought profit. I have a prophetic word for you. Remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. For behold, in this season, my God, who is also your God, is doing a new thing. 
my God, who is also your God, is doing a new thing. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray for someone who is in the order of Gideon, coming as the least in your family and the least in the tribe. And it looks like nothing good has come out of you. In the name that is above all names, I speak to you by the grace that lifts men from their lowly estate to the place of nobility and honor. May that grace locate you now. Hallelujah. Please make sure you are receiving these prophetic words. They are not empty, believe me. Nathaniel said about Jesus, can anything good come out of Nazareth? It was not his fault. He had seen a track record of great Nazarenes fall, like Samson. Men who would rise and not live long. They did not have longevity of honor and results. I pray for someone. Any pattern you have seen in your family... People dying before their time. Women becoming the men and men becoming the women. All kinds of negative patterns. My Bible says blotting out every handwriting. And the ordinances that spoke against us that he nailed it to his cross. Be delivered once and for all. Help them please. Be delivered once and for all. Hallelujah. We're wrapping up. And every spiritual force that has constituted itself as an altar, impeding the growth and the progress of men, let me speak to you. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, of over God's people. Be ye lifted ancient doors, and let the King of glory come in. I decree and declare. These gates and doors give way to your destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If there is anyone here, the spirit of untimely death is roaming around the corridors of your life or for your loved ones. That the devil has vowed that there must be a cry of premature death over your family. I stand in partnership with all the graces here represented. And we declare the fullness of your days you must fulfill. The fullness of your days you must fulfill. <laughs> 